now and forever. Today's Gospel, our Lord says, whoever keeps my word will never see death. And death these days is something that is in the forefront of many minds of Americans. Uh, yesterday, there were over 4,000 deaths due to the coronavirus, and our president announced that we should expect that number to rise up to 100,000 over the next two weeks. So we have some difficult days ahead of us, and this is precisely the time that we want to turn to Jesus Christ, who is the life of the world and whose words are true. He says, whoever keeps my word will never see death. And we say, well, how do we understand this? Because certainly there are Christians, okay, who keep the word of Jesus and are dying because of the coronavirus. And that's exactly the questions that the Jews ask to our Lord in today's gospel. But what about Abraham? What about the prophets? Okay, all of these are dying. Are you greater than Abraham? And the truth is that Jesus Christ is greater than Abraham. We need to understand these words um, that our Lord speaks by understanding that there are three kinds of death. Okay, and the death that we're dealing with today uh, due to the coronavirus is the death of nature. Okay, when there is a separation of soul and body. And this death, because we're all sons and daughters of Adam, nobody escapes. As it says in the letter to the Hebrews, it is given to every man to die once. And so our Lord here is not contradicting uh, the letter to the Hebrews. And so everyone must die this natural, this death of nature, the separation of soul and body. But there are two other kinds of death. There's also spiritual death, and that is the separation of the soul from God's grace. God's grace, which gives life and vivifies the soul. And then there's also eternal death. And that is when soul and body are separated from God for eternity. And so when Jesus says, whoever keeps my word will never see death, he's referring to these second two kinds of deaths, spiritual death and eternal death. Whoever keeps the words of Jesus Christ will never see spiritual death. His soul will always be united with grace, and he will live habitually in the state of grace. And then, uh, once he does die, that is, separation of soul and body, dying the natural death, he will not see eternal death. That is, he will not be separated from God forever. And so, we should, during these difficult times, turn our, our attention to the words of Jesus Christ. As the Gospel Antiphon says, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And so we turn to our Lord, we seek to hear his voice, to keep his words, to put him, and to put them into practice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.